This problem is to overview how to calculate tax liability in the instance um, for the C corporation. So. so we are going to take the taxable income that we calculated in the previous video. So I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet for A, which was 51,500. And now I'm going to use the corporate tax rate. So 51,000. This is the bracket between 50 and 75, and it's 7,500 plus 25,000, oh, 25% 25 any, of anything over 50,000. So, equals 7,500 plus this number, which is our taxable income, minus the 50,000. And actually, I'm going to need to put two little brackets here. Close the bracket, times that by 0.25, which is 25% of anything over 50,000, and we get 7,875. I'm going to take the taxable income from problem B here, which was 96,650. I'm going to go back and find C, taxable income, and D, taxable income. All right, so now we're going to do 97,650. And I'm going to do equals, and this one's 97, so it's 34% of anything over 75,000 plus 1375. So I'm going to go here, 13750 plus. 97,000 minus 75,000 times 0.34. All right, so now we're going to do 69,000, which would be here again. So it equals 7,500 plus 69,000 minus 50,000 times 0.25. And the final one. I'm just going to move this, cut, paste, 118,900. So that is 39% of everything over 100,000 equals 22250 plus 000. this minus the 100,000 at the bottom of the limit times 0.39. 29,621. And that's how you would you calculate tax using the corporate tax rate schedule. Finally, we're going to talk about how we would carry how we would use carryover net income losses or NOLs. So, below is the reported net income or loss over to between 2006 and 2012 before any net operating losses. So minus 4,000 in 2006, 19,000, 23,000, minus 31,000 in 2009, 11,000, 8,000, 3,000. First part says is determine the annual taxable income after accounting for any net operating losses from 2006 to 12, assuming the corporation does not waive carry back period. Okay, and also calculate the carry forward. All right. So. Assuming there is no carry, assuming we started in 2006, we're going to carry forward this loss, which means we are going to take out $4,000 from 2007. And we're going to offset this, so this loss is not used at all. The next thing we're going to do is we can actually carry back this $31,000 loss. So I'm going to use this carry back, and I have $15,000 left, so. So I'm going to carry back. I'm going to make this a negative number, because we're going to take that. So I'm going to take this $15,000 out of here. And then I'm going, I have another loss I can apply this carry back here. I 
So this, I'm using this 31,000. So I used 15,000 for 2007 and I used 16,000 for 2008. Oops. Now I'm going to carry back this 2008 loss. So my income is going for each year is going to be the income for the year, income or loss, plus the carry forward plus the carry back equals zero. Zero for 2007. We couldn't get rid of everything from this year. Zero for 2009. We paid $7,000, $3,000 for 2010. We used the $8,000 as a carry back here. And so we won't have any carry forward because we've used all of our losses here. So now, assume that there's no carry back. So they've waived their right to carry back. So we can't carry backwards. We have to carry forward. So on the carry forward only, we can use the $4,000 here. The four thousand dollar loss we carried it forward. Um, that's done, so there's no carry forward for that. This one can be carried forward, so we can use eleven thousand dollars, and we can still use three thousand dollars. From the thirty-one thousand, we can also use three thousand dollars from the thirty-one thousand. So net income after carry net operating loss. And we have a carry forward of we use eleven thousand plus we use this. Fixing this formula here. And it's thirty three thousand dollars, not thirty thousand. Okay. So this would be considered a carry forward. And this would be a considered a carry forward. So our total carry forward would be $25,000. And that's how you apply a net operating a net operating loss either carrying back and carrying forward or just carrying forward.